team like Kyrie and KD Or the Lake Show with King James and AD Wish I could match him up with the bad boys from the 80s But no black and white, I need that in HD Yeah, dog. Yo, what's good, y'all? It's your boy Ant Hen Dog, and we're back to it. You know how we do it. NBA legends on how insanely good Kevin McHale was. Shout out to the Bird Gang, man. I know y'all gonna love this video. Shout out to the Celtic Gang. I know when I when I saw this video pop up. I'm like, the Bird Gang is gonna be very happy about this video. And I think it was only right that I start diving into Kevin McHale because if y'all never been on my channel, I've reacted to probably 50 Larry Bird videos. Uh, that's something that I've kind of went down a two, three week rabbit hole with where I was reacting to as many Larry Bird videos as I can. And I'm still currently reacting to Larry Bird videos. So if you got some Larry Bird videos you want me to react to, throw them in the comments. But while watching those, and you know, seeing how great of a passer Larry Bird was, I couldn't help but notice who he was passing it to. And Kevin McHale was, you know, he was out there looking like a, a, a Pau Gasol on steroids. Like that's who he was looking like. Like he was out there catching it, dunking. Uh, even on the ones that wasn't just like, you know, super exotic passes by Larry Bird. It would just be uh, videos just talking about the Celtics. Uh, they would just throw it into Kevin McHale and he would go get a bucket. Like he had all type of moves. Like he wasn't just one of them players that he just needed to ball to get handed to him to lay it up. Like he had moves and he had everything. But this is gonna be my first video where it's just solely on Kevin McHale. But before we get into it, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. We're on the way to 10K. Almost there. We're moving real fast right now. So please help me. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. It takes nothing but one second, if that. Uh, make sure you like this video. Once you like this video, then go ahead and write something in the comments. Where does Kevin McHale rank as far as all-time centers? Uh, I was just reacting to another video and I saw David Robinson on there. And I was asking that same question about where does he rank? Uh, would y'all say that Kevin McHale was better than David Robinson? Would y'all say that? Or they was they really close as far as, you know, talent or whatever. But let's get into this. I'm excited for this video. I want to see how they talk about just solely Kevin McHale without talking about Larry Bird. So let's get into it. We got NBA legends on how insanely good Kevin McHale was. Let's go. Get it. Hey guys, this is Dominic Wilkins. Hey, this is Sharon Kip. This is Gary Payton. Hey, this is Paul Gasol. Hey, what's up? This is Vince Carter here. Hey, what's up? This is Matt Barnes. If you're an old school NBA fan like I am, make sure you check out the basketball time machine with my man Sean Davis. Hey, hey guys, welcome back to the Basketball Time Machine. I'm your host, Sean David. What Thanks up, Sean? for tuning in. Let's talk some old school NBA basketball. In today's episode, I'm taking a look at NBA legends, giving their opinion on how good Kevin McHale was. They so the of the Boston Celtics. They before we dive into that, I want to remind you guys of the Sean Kemp, the Science Sean Kemp jersey competition. I'm giving away this beauty right here. Okay. Signed by the Rain Man, and all you have to do is at me on Instagram, which is www.instagram.com slash Sean David MBA. And you don't have to send me a message, all you have to do is just at me. And in four days, so the coming the following Sunday, I will have a random a number machine, which is basically picking a number, and that person is going to win the jersey. So your odds at the moment are pretty high because it's Sean only 1,100 people so far competing so your chances are not bad at all so enough of that now let's dive into today's episode <laughs> Now the first player that we're going to take a look at is Sir Charles Barkley and Barkley has a lot of respect for Kevin McHale which you're going to see in the following clips. Some of these guys back in the day like Greg Kite, Mokeski, they like try to beat you down the whole game, try to make you lose your temper, you lose your temper. Lamb Beer just tried to, to knock the hell out of you. My, actually my personal nemesis is Kevin McHale because he was such, he's the best player I ever played against. Best you could not stop him. Against. 
Uh, I've always said that you could not stop that guy. It was, and on the other end, I had to use every ounce of energy I did to score on him. That guy, when I look, when I looked at, because we all look at the schedule, we're like, okay, I can have some fun that night. <laughs> uh oh, uh -oh. <laughs> better get a good night's sleep that night. I mean, we all say the same thing uh, about different guys, but Kevin McHale is the best player I played against because he was unstoppable offensively and he gave me nightmares on the big guys, especially his footwork. Uh, some of the greatest feet ever in NBA history when you're talking about signature moves, Kevin McHale. Uh, and the dream shake, Hakeem Olajuwon. I think they're the two best. They're so, and I played many years against both of those guys. And Kevin McHale, they got to, it got to the point where they were calling him a man of a thousand moves. Mm. Could not guard him one on one on the box because he has such great footwork and he did a great job of feeling the contact. And once he felt you, you were done. If the double team didn't come right away, forget about it. He had too much stuff on the box. Nope. I love that. I love that because again, like. Just watching the, the Larry Bird videos, there was 90% was just, you know, Larry Bird doing some super cool move. And Kevin McHale just catching it, landing it up, catching it, landing it up, catching it, landing it up, catching it, dunking. And then it's like, part of me, I'm like, I think Kevin McHale got more to his game than that. So then when I would watch those team, uh, the uh, making the case for the, the greatest team ever, the 1986 Celtics, I would see, you know, Kevin McHale doing all those different moves. And I'm like... This guy was really good. He wasn't just no player that was just getting the ball, just catching it from Larry Bird and just laying it up all the time. Like he was really like Paul Gasol. That's I think that's like the perfect comparison. I think he was a lot tougher than than Paul Gasol though. But as far as just the the, the skill and the footwork, like Kevin McHale was, was nasty, man. He was nasty. So I'm happy that I can see more of that, see more of that in, in this video. When we talk about Kevin McHale and the Boston Celtics, now obviously we also need Larry Bird's opinion. So let's have a look what Larry Bird has to say. Because he wasn't very vocal. He led by example every night. Practices off. That's the chief right there. I think it's working. Larry, don't I saw a lot of that. I thought that was one and all that was great. Was are great. But uh, uh, Kevin is, was as good as, as anybody I've ever seen. Uh, he probably gave up more than anybody. Uh, he didn't demand it. He, he liked his shot. And I think everybody, when you play in a really good team, everybody sacrifices for each other because, but it's not a sacrifice. It's, it's just that if, if Robert had it going, which he did many nights, we, he just got the ball. If, if Robert and Larry had it going, I just knew I wasn't going to give him any shots. It was a big deal, you know, the next night might be my night. We got ours, and, and you know, our goal was to have one more point than the other team. And that's the beauty of being on a great team without egos, because a lot of people can't say that. Like, I don't care if it's a great team or not, a great talent or not. Even teams with a bunch of great talent, there's still not going to be players that's, that's, that's willing to be like, you know what, like, I got all these other great players. Like, t tonight might not be my night. Like, you know, y'all got it this night. Next, tomorrow might be my night. Other players like, no, like, I need this. I, I need every night. Like, I need to go be on a team where I'm the man. Like, and then it's just like, you know, you would never get those championships that the Celtics got. So it's great to be, be on teams with unselfish players like that. And I think that's why the Celtics were so good, because they had all these great players without these egos. In the end, us being a great team meant more than any any individual thing or, or anything. Like that. It was just kind of one of those teams. That's dope. Um, had we all just been on different teams, like I tell people we would have scored more and we'd have won less. So I, I'd much I'd much rather take winning than. starting fives for every team in the Eastern Conference. And who better than this crew to break down the Celtics lineup? So guys, they have Russell Bird, Pierce Havlicek, and Kuzi Jackie. Is this what your list looks like? It, 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 it is and it isn't. I have a hard time leaving Kevin McHale off, Rach. He was Bird's Pippen, if you will. I He never cared about numbers, didn't care about MVPs, All-Star Day, but he was one of the most devastating low post players I've ever seen. Oh, he said that, she just said that he was Scottie Pippen of the Celtics, which I kind of agree on, but it's kind of really hard to agree 
when Larry Bird himself said that Dennis Johnson was his best teammate. So let me know in the comments, do y'all agree with Larry Bird? Do y'all think that Dennis Johnson was his best teammate or would I have to give it to Kevin McHale? Because it's hard to just say like, no, Larry Bird don't know what he's talking about. Like he was out there playing with him. So it's the reason why Dennis Johnson uh, didn't mention Kevin McHale and mention Dennis Johnson as his best teammate. But let me know without thinking about what Larry Bird said, who y'all think was uh, Larry Bird's best teammate? Let me know in the comments. Um, my, four, my, my four man would have to be obviously uh, Kevin McHale, you know, the master of the inside, outside, you know, however way you win the game. So we, we, we see all the stretch boards and we talk about it all the time, but here are two guys that were sitting out there, you know, obviously Diesel is one of them as well, but we're talking about guys who the skill was magnificent over the power. So what do you two guys think that's going to happen in the next five years? Kevin McHale, when before he had the 56, White did Mama? you look at him as a guy who can absolutely dominate a game? Or was he a guy that was really good, but really you can't count on him to get you a 50-point ball game? Well, I don't know about counting on him to get a 50-point game, but you knew he could get 30. Um, and that's one of the things that I thought was really interesting about our team. You know, Cedric Maxwell has been playing a lot. Kevin obviously moved into that starting position. Kevin, with his length, with his footwork, um, and I mean, supreme confidence in his ability not only to knock down the 14, 15 footers, one dribble to a spot, one dribble to the rim, up and under. He had all of that. The great. Hey, who was that, y'all? Was who was that that was just who talking? Who was the toughest player he ever had to guard? His answer? Hall of Famer Kevin McHale. What say? To guard. Charles Barkley oh, Charles was once Barkley. asked, who was the toughest player he ever had to guard? His answer? Hall of Famer Kevin McHale. I'm telling you, you kids just don't know how good Kevin McHale was. We learning. I'm learning. That's what I created this YouTube channel for, is to teach the kids uh, my way of all the legends, man. So that's why if you got some kids out there that don't know too much about the game, make sure that they subscribe to the Hen Dogs channel because that's what we're going to do here. We're going we gonna to learn about the 2022 game. Like, I got videos coming out about that. But we're also going to learn about the 80s basketball, 90s basketball, 70s, 60s. We're going to learn about everything, man. Best basketball YouTube channel right here. I'm telling you. When we talk about the top power forwards to ever play the game, the same names get mentioned. Duncan, Barkley, Malone, Nowitzki, Garnett, Elvin Hayes. But there's one name that's too often left off the list. McKim? The name of a guy who routinely gave some of the greatest to ever. I don't know, who is Hayes? Who is Hayes right there, y'all? I don't even know who that is. Who is Hayes. Who? But they're alone, Nowitzki, Garnett, Elvin Hayes. Who is Elvin Hayes? I've never heard of Elvin Hayes, y'all. Let me know. But there's one name that's too often left off the list. The name of a guy who routinely gave some of the greatest to ever lace them up. The business. I'm talking about Kevin McHale. Forget the optics. Yes, he was gangly. Yes, he was earthbound. He was yes, he came off the bench. But Kevin... What does gangly or earthbound mean? I don't know what neither one of them mean, Chris Broussard. But write in the comments what gangly mean and what earthbound mean. I think I kind of know what gangly mean because uh, my dad used to always call my cousin that. And I think it means just like skinny legs and just kind of just running, running loose and wild out there. But I don't know what earthbound mean. Let me know what earthbound mean. And McHale was one of the best to ever do it. Here's why. Number one, Kevin McHale was a sensational post-up player. Six foot ten and blessed with arms so long that people often joked he could tie his shoes without bending over. He had every post move in the book. The jump hook, the up and under, the reverse lay-in, the fade away. McHale was simply unstoppable on the block. So much so that in the 1986-87 season, he averaged 26 points a game while shooting 60% from the floor and 80% from the line. You know how many NBA players have averaged 20 or more points, shot 60% from the floor and 80% from the strike I mean, in the same season? One! Kevin McHale. Now, he, he is... 
coming into his own right yeah, who was that right there? Yeah. I, I think four, he had Dude, 43 I know that Scott the next night. Tough. So the year before, he came off the bench. Now, do you feel like, oh, man, this guy's established as a Hall of Famer. It's like he's a starter. He's a big-time all-star player. I knew he was going to be a big-time player for us. I didn't, I didn't think there was any question about that. I'm not sure if I thought Hall of Fame. But I knew at the end of the day, Brian, you know, this is about guys you can count on to do what they do. You knew Kevin can score. Can he score? Can he score consistently? Can he score consistently in big games? And he started to show those kind of signs. And that's that's really a good thing for anybody. Mm. I mean, all of our teammates felt good about him. I, I have to, again, say, you know playing. When you've got a guy that you've got your number one player has confidence in, then you know you got a guy that can play. He would... Larry would throw the ball to Robert because he had a, he knew how Robert needed the ball just because all guys need the ball at some point. Kevin, he threw the ball because Kevin usually had a mismatch. With his long arms and the footwork, he had a mismatch somewhere and was able to get off a good shot. Now, before I end this video, I want to give you guys my opinion about how good do I think was Kevin McHale. Well, I got to be honest, I was always a huge fan of Kevin. Why? Because of his great post game. I was always a fan of players who could move their feet, who had an arsenal like a Swiss Army knife. That's why I'm a big fan of Hakeem Olajuwon and obviously now of Kevin McHale. I wish I could have seen him on the other team. No, I, I don't want to see him on the other team because I like players who actually stay with their franchise. But it would have been interesting to see how good was Kevin McHale if he would have been the main guy on a team. Well, we will never know, but still Kevin McHale, you're my man. All right, you guys. Great video. I uh, definitely needed that. I'm going to need to dive a little bit more into Kevin McHale because, like I said, one video is not enough for these guys. I want to just, like, get a compilation. I feel like I should get at least five to ten videos for each player that I'm going to react to. But I hope y'all enjoyed that video. Uh, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel if y'all haven't already. Make sure y'all like this video if y'all like this video. And go ahead and write something in the comments. Like I said, where does Kevin McHale rank at as far as all-time bigs? But I appreciate y'all, like always. We out.